Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook in a micro niche and initially only made it available to Harvard students. Then he expanded that niche to include other colleges in the Boston area and then gradually to most colleges and universities in the United States and Canada. But it wasn't until late 2006 that Facebook broke out of their micro niche and was made available to everyone over 13 years old with a valid email address. Elon Musk had a similar approach with electric cars and Tesla. To disrupt the car industry and glamorise electric cars, Tesla found a micro niche, developing an electric sports car, the Roadster, which had a range of 244 miles and reached 60 miles an hour in 3.7 seconds. Yes, it was quite expensive at around $100,000, but was targeted at people with plenty of disposable income, aiming to change people's perception about electric cars and showing they could be fun. Although only 2,400 roadsters were sold over a four-year period, it provided Tesla with a platform to bring out other models, targeted at other micro-niche groups. Today, Tesla have a series of electric car models and have slowly worked through different niche groups with varying products and price points. We did the same with Office Technology Solutions. First, launching print technology for families and home workers before developing solutions for small organisations and larger enterprises. We've recently entered another micro niche, internet driven office telephones. It complements our other technology solutions and operates firmly within our overall office technology niche. But what about you? What niche do you operate in? And can you find complementary micro niches within it?